Good morning, everyone. This is Rift Gal. We're gonna play some more Skyborn. And let's try the gauntlet. So, in order to get through to the gauntlet, you have to have completed the three other areas of the Venom Depths, and then get the spade stack for the fourth crystal. I'm kind of nervous about this, but I feel like we may as well just try it. And we can always go back and redo equipment if we need to. Like I had one other person that I had equipment that I needed to put on. Oh, Corwin's. I want to check this. Yes, Soul Render is better than what he was using. That is what I was checking. And more importantly, it does a uh, chance for confusion if I accidentally use his physical attack, which is nice. And uh, ups his damage on the cripple attack. Well, the good news is we have enough for Shockwave. <laughs> Slows everything down. Uh, I think we're going to focus Tosca's attacks on the Queen herself. We call her a Queen here. Um... Majesty down to try and slow some of these guys down. And then we'll hit him with on the MP to just pull all of that away. I'm thinking Zealous Strike is fine. We should be able to go before her. Let's get some regenerate going. Let's use Humiliator. Let's see how many status effects we can get on her. Slow is the one I wanted. Let's try Majesty again. There we go. Eliminate. Does lots of damage. Let's get rid of the Blind on Chaska. Strike over to Sullivan. And if you take a look at that turn order, we've set up our speed trap, so she should be out of commission now. Vitality. Oh, hey, we get free heal every time. That's good to know. Okay. The Titan. It's the next boss here. So I think we do need to start with. You know what? The claw and the arm seem like the good places to start for this type of enemy, typically. Focus fire down. Let's get the MP 
key. Triple. I accidentally mouse. Oh, never mind. That was them using it. And Perfect. And that should do it. <laughs> Strike to make sure to try and keep him a little bit up on threat, and we'll just have all to start attacking. Oh, it's a second triple down. Debilitate. He's EMP'd so he didn't get his attack off. Humiliator, just to rub it in. And from here we should be good. Might take a little bit, but we should be good. <laughs> Ooh, blood tap. We will poison nails. Zealous strike. Going on humiliator, just trying to get some negative stuff going. Obsidian or Master just one shot him. I'm out of revivals. One person out. I really wish we had branches of life because I would have, or that would make it a lot easier to actually get him back up. Uh, I feel like we need to get adrenaline rush on turns. Let's start there. Um, eliminate. Starting with that up for threat. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna go with. Magic Barrier next, in case he goes Darkness, and Magic Shield on all the Humiliator on Trusted, Silence, there we go. Now, we're gonna go back. I 
think we got it. A lot of these bosses, you really just need to get the lock in place. You have to survive a couple rounds, basically, and then you can just start going off. Getting these guys down. Getting the speed drains. Once most bosses have both uh, silence and EMP in place, they really just can't do anything. Unless they do physical attacks, also. I was far to get another turn, and I was getting very worried. Okay. I think there's one more boss, and I'm terrified. Okay. So I think this is... If I'm remembering right, this is like a party from the earlier game? Or something like that? Basically, you actually have to fight in a separate party. Which is a really cool idea. <laughs> so, I'm going to use taunt. I normally don't use taunt. But I feel like it's important for this particular one. I'm going to use... next? Astral Mage or Astral Priestess? Astral Priestess. We might be in trouble already. Tosca, er, Claret's set up to take the next hit. Corwin goes right after the Knight and Valkyrie. Let's focus on one person. Perfect. Renew should bring everybody back up to full. And now we should be able to... Devastating Strike there. Or Distracting Strike, rather. Um, then I think I want to poison nails. See if we can get some poison down. screwed here, but Let's see if we can pull it off. Okay. Okay. Nope, we got it. <laughs> so I was hoping the haste plus the resistances up would help, and they ended up doing two attacks where they were going at. Basically, they did multiple attacks where they were targeting uh, themselves or buffing themselves instead of focusing on Corwin. Uh, I feel like we're gonna do Regenerate next. Get that started. 
from life is bad. Um, Alda is next, so Claret. Claret uses its double effect on potions. Um, let's toss a Majesty. I can even get one in person with that, that'd be great. Not. I can use Humiliator on the Mage to see if I can get him. There we go. Priestess is next. Looks like a no. <laughs> We're finally just slightly starting to stabilize. But just to be extremely clear, we are not stable. There is no stable. <laughs> Actually, I take that. There will be stable once we actually take one of them out. Wishing Chaska could just do the start with Humiliator, but okay. Keep focusing down. I really need to get. Okay. okay. So that knocks all of those bonuses off of her, which was really important. Um. Focusing fire on the healer is generally the right strategy for this type of situation. Um, let's get Paragon going. Get his own bonuses back up. That was a good chunk of damage. I can actually see her life bar a little bit. Three powerful attacks on the enemy party with this charge time. Inspiration. Speed up the enemy party. Cripple. Slow the enemy party. There we go. Now we're doing it. Okay. Uh, EMP. Strike. Awesome. Eliminate. Um. <laughs> Sometimes that's important. Shockwave. Humiliator on the Priestess. 
There we go. Now the mage is gone. We should be good. Mage and healer. So now we just need to focus fire on one of these guys at a time. Finish this guy off, it looks like. and finished him off. be a while before they get slow again. Let's get Blood Tap down as a negative status effect. Humiliator. Flying Silence slow. And that should be all she wrote. on their tank takes a while, but hey. Let's switch over to Cyclone, see if we can get some bleed effects out. Wow. Actually coming back around to their turn. So close. There we go. And that should be... Obsidian Claw, yep. So Chaska's best weapon. Problem Solver, I believe, is one of Claret's weapons. Iblis Family Crest is gonna be a shield. Zero Point Blade. Don't remember. And Spark of Creation. So basically, we get multiple options for each of these now. You can see there, this one's a little bit weaker overall, but it is also Siphon Life instead of Purple. Um, I think tech damage all skills plus 50% damage. So yeah, this is the one that is superior, basically it's the upgraded version of the Circuit Breaker. Zero Point Blade I'm guessing is Alda's... No, it must be Sullivan's options. Where's the Crest? Oh, nice. Immune to debuffs, plus one all resistances. So yeah, uh, that is the secret hidden boss area that is uh, the Venom Depths and the Gauntlet. Really tough bosses. A lot of the, a lot of it comes down to being able to figure out that pacing, figure out those little uh, strategies to 
I'm not necessarily cheesing out the boss, but basically keep yourself alive long enough to get your status effects out. The status effects in this game are very powerful, as you can see. Okay. So I have a few things I would like to try. So we are going to head straight up to the top. Because the top is where the arena is. And the arena is where the final shop is and a forge. So basically, before I start just equipping and augmenting all the really good stuff that I that I just got, I would like to make sure that what I have is actually the best. And actually, I should have double checked real quick here. We have 18 obsidian. Yeah, we're good. So weapons. I would like to do a double glaive, platinum or er, obsidian, highest quality. I would like to do a fencing sword, obsidian. Follow. Are you sensing a theme? And I would like to do a one-handed gun. Obsidian. Follow. It. Because I think so. Our two options here are obsidian rapier or syncredo. Now syncredo gives us extra HP, which is okay and gives us a crit bonus. Looks like it's technically giving a speed bonus, but I believe that's due to... Yep, he's overweight. Start with additional threat, plus one all resistance. Base block is... Yeah. So base block goes down currently. But... <laughs> Is also going to be buffed when we make it a, or when we apply the uh, what's it called? the ingot when we augment it. So this is why I feel like Sullivan getting the equip bonus is best. The two options that I have here are we can either make the obsidian rapier lighter with the puffin feather. This is probably the best setup for him. I mean, honestly, I thought it's not even that amazing at this point. It's 50, 50 to everything is decent. She does have really low hit points, so that's kind of nice. Okay, so problem solver is a given. I think we're going to go Obsidian Magnum plus two here. Where does that put her for weight? Okay. I'm honestly tempted to make the circuit breaker, or to just stick with circuit breaker because of that huge intelligence boost. 
also really tempted to switch out, like, the black belt to give her... Okay, so I think what we're gonna do... I'm gonna try this. We're gonna see if it works. How much money do I have? 28,000. Okay. Should be okay. So we're gonna buy a merit award, merit badge. We're gonna equip said merit badge here. That's gonna give her an additional eight build. So now her build is 15, her weight is six. Now we can go plus four. Doubles both the strength and intelligence, but increases the weight by three. But she can take that weight now. And I think this should be good enough. So five, five, six. I want to double check real quick. What does Circuit Breaker look like if we do that? <laughs> Not anywhere. That's what I thought. So we can take this up to 556 with this, which is really good. Or, oh hey, Spark of Creation works as a augment too. And probably doesn't increase the stupidly powerful thing. That's almost better. Feels pretty good. Let's double check what other people's weapons are quick. It's Chaska's weight limit. Yeah, we should be okay on her. It's Obsidian Claw. Can go plus four on that real easily. No problem. Weight three. Tons of damage. That's fine. Uh, zero point blade. I definitely want to be a plus four. Shield, 300% block. I mean, I suppose that's the other option. <laughs> but I don't feel like that's necessary. That's fine. Zero point play plus four. That's a pretty solid one, too. Let's see. Plus two plus four. 724. Yeah, I think that's fine. I feel like this is the best of all. Plus three speed. 
intelligence, agility, wait, intelligence, agility, speed, haste, regen. So that actually would be really good on Claire's armor. Or Claret's armor. 500 intelligence. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Okay. Figured it out. <laughs> so Obsidian Rapier, Rapier plus two. Should be Obsidian Rapier plus two plus four. I'm honestly not sure he needs this. Like, I feel like this third eye of croissants is really, really good already. do gold line specs which is already a really cool armor that I'm definitely going to leave on her with spark of creation gold line specs of omnipotence makes it really stupid um, <laughs> which I'm okay with so now Karat has permanent haste Really, really high strength, really, really high intelligence. She should just be able to wreck things once she gets going. And I feel like leaving her with Dragon of Blood Gem and Merit Badge as accessories is fine, given the rest of the stuff she has equipped. And does she have everything? Yes. I think we're good. So that's hers. He has two items to upgrade. Insignia Royu and High Centurion's Gauntlet. So he has prevent critical hits, half energy costs. Plus one to all resists. The thing I'm not seeing on here is I thought he oh there it is. Iblis Family Crest is plus one all resistance and immune to debuffs. So I guess Insignia Ryu is I mean we can just go plus four ignite ingot, but I thought I mean I guess we could go behemoth out that point. <laughs> or just puffin feathers and be really cheesy. Gauntlet of Vitality. And he should be fine on weight. Perfect. Corwin, Soul Render. Let's double check weight first, real quick. He's only got a plus one to work with. So, augmenting his. We have. Either a 50 intelligence boost here, actually Rainbow Prism gives us 33% magic and tech damage, Soul Render of Kings, sure, sounds good. Of Enhancement, Master's Regalia, SMP cost, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, let's go Puff and Feather there. Okay. 
Arcane Cloak of Things, Arcane Cloak of Persons. Actually, I think... What does Kings give? Looks like a small bonus to everything. To Strength, Intelligence, and Agility. I think I'd rather have the Speed Boost. There. So, just to double check, speed 18, speed 12, speed 11 currently. Speed 11 currently. Okay, I've got the money for it. I'm gonna buy a timekeeper for Chaska. speed up a bit more. I'm actually gonna give... One of these is resistances, right? Oh, on a shield. Darn. Uh, let's actually go nullifier then? Asuka's Ashigar Helm. What does Purity do? I think that was the crit chance. Yeah. And... I think I'm actually gonna steal Alda's... Gladiator scripts and crown. I realized that I should have done this earlier. Never mind, those are heavy. Is this heavy as well? It is. Never mind. We're good. <laughs> I will probably be swapping that alacrity or something. Strength, strength. Gladiator's grip. I guess we just go with kings? Feels okay. our gear. Oh, I should have checked the accessories real quick. That's not great. Like, I guess Gigas bracelet's, what, 16 strength is all? I feel like at this point, like, Draken and Blood Gem's probably better. is technically better here and let's grab another timekeeper
And... I think that's going to be it. So Timekeeper bumps her up to 11. She's at 13. He's at 11. 12. 18. Okay, so Chaska is actually the one I want to have by a speed. Which I'm not going to be able to do. But that's okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go one more for Sullivan, and another one for Chaska. We technically buy one more <laughs> Grapes of Alacrity there. I guess minus what we sell? Probably should have sold. I probably should have thought about that earlier. Thousand. Spada, Platinum Blade, Essence Gatherer, Blood Wave, Blade Warder. Does she still not have the Blood Wave equipped? Whoops. Okay, that much speed actually feels like it might actually might be too much. Which seems weird to say, but I have to keep in mind that she has to be able to maintain her threat. And I don't think she can do that with that much speed. <laughs> that feels bad to sell. Okay, we're doing it. regular store as well here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pump out... I wanna say this should be fine. Let's see how much those sell for. Twenty each. That's not bad. I'm not sure if there's a better one as far as the most efficient way to do this. But hey, if I can make nine, uh, about nine guns quick with all that leftover ore. Gonna try something real quick. Just comparison real quick. So platinum work life is 200, 100 for the magnum. So yeah, actually work lives are probably a better price then. Oops.
basically just pump out as many of these as we can. I think I can buy one more grapes out of this. See how close that actually puts us before I start fussing with it further. At absolute worst, we'll just not worry about it and move on. But. Oh, and that's only self half. I was not thinking about that part. That no more slaves. Yeah, that's not actually going to be enough to make a big difference here. Tusca got equipped, yep. Corwin got equipped, friends. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And augments are. Enhancement, yep, yep, yep. Persons, purity, kings. Okay. I might change the purity out. No, no. Obsidian of, of alacrity. to speed, literally. Uh, we are going to be taking our second to last probably break here shortly. I want to do one more thing. And it might seem odd, given how much cool, like, super high power stuff we have. I'm gonna buy an Arcane Dust. And we're putting Arcane Dust... Um... Yeah. This is just a small agility boost, I believe. So, Tuska has negative magic resist normally, which has led her to get absolutely stomped more than once when there's a big AoE spell. So, my intention right there was just, I figure if we just give her a plus one to her magic resist, that'll maybe help her get stomped less. Uh, the arcane, or the, was it, draconid item as well should help with that. Extra thousand points. But I feel like keeping her alive is good. <laughs> and 
Especially with how much time we spent getting her rearranged to get power. And to just get that balance right. Okay. And I just realized I was going the wrong way again. So, back to Blackstone Industries. I feel like at this point, we are ready for the rest of the game. More than ready. We have all the best gear. We've got a really sick setup. Um, I'm going to double check my numbers real quick here, just to make sure I'm correct. I didn't put anybody over. Correct. Um, we've got everybody's best weapons, everybody's best gear, all the best augments. If we find something better along the way, we'll swap it out. Um, yeah. Hopefully you're still enjoying. Uh, by the way, the, that equipment run is one of my favorite things with this game. Figuring out how to rearrange the equipment, giving out all of the buffs. Uh, like... It's fun. It is fun to me. So. Yeah. Anyway. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.